Hi, George here. And today I wanted to show you a conversion tool that converts over 1000 video and audio file formats. And that's the mini tool video converter, which is a free download. If you're doing anything with MP4, MOV, AVI, or MP3 files, whatever, this program can handle it. As you can see here, it's really easy to use. Either click on this to add or drag and drop your files right here to start your conversion process. You can see what you're working on and also what you have converted in the past right there. You can add files up here and add in multiple files. You can add a whole folder if you want to, so you can actually do it on a folder basis. But we'll focus here on the video and also audio converter here in this video. And there are no setup requirements on this. And the only ad you'll get right down here is for the Minitel Movie Maker, which I've talked about in a previous video. The first thing you want to do is to install this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the website. And it's right here. And I'll put the link for this at the top of the description so it's easy to get to. And simply click download now and it downloads real fast. It's a small program, very quick. Some of the things this will do for you, it can record 4K screens at original quality. So you can actually record your screen. It can convert audio, video, and device. And it works for iPhone, iPad, Android devices. And of course also PC and Mac. It can convert from over 1,000 file formats. Let me just show you real fast the list of formats in here. All these different video file formats in here, all these auto formats, these are all your major input formats. And then all these codecs down here for these. So any conversion you can think of, this program can handle that, including converting Apple, Y, Samsung, and Android formats as well. And you can output too, just a ton of stuff. Here's your MP4s at your video outputs right down here. And also output to audio formats. One of the things I tend to do since I do videos for Minecraft is I'll convert MP3 files to AUG files. It does that in here as well. So pretty much whatever you think of, this can handle it. And again, here's a download button. Let's take a look at this real fast. Click on the download button. Simply choose a download folder, download to that folder, and then install. And it installs very quickly. It also launches just as fast. Let's now see how this works on converting an MP3 file. I'll just click on the plus sign here. You can then navigate to a file. I use these in some of my videos. I'll just take this one right here, choose open. Now at the bottom down here, you can choose how you want to convert this. We have video formats. This is an audio, so I want an audio format, high quality, medium, or low quality. I'll be converting the MP3 over to an OGG file right down here, OG file right there. You also can make a custom profile if you want to, or I could convert to one of these different devices in here, but I'll leave it at this audio setting for the OG. You can choose where to output your file to. Right now I'm leaving it in the default output folder. Convert all of course means that we can convert a batch of files that can save you a lot of time. Just click on the convert button. We'll see how fast it goes. This is a seven minute long track and it's almost done. And there we go. It took just seconds to convert that seven minute long track. If you want to convert a lot of things, let's go back here to converting. If you wanted a whole batch, the easy way is just to add a folder and then convert everything inside the folder. So what you do is you set a folder up on your computer, dump everything you want to convert into that one folder, and then just add that folder in here. Do an example on that one, select folder. And here I have 62 songs right there. It now just added in 62 songs. If I wanted to convert all of these over in just one big batch, I would just click on the convert all. I'll go ahead and run this, and then I'll tell you how long this took as soon as this is finished with the process. Click on convert all and it begins converting these things. You can see here it's actually converting them multiples at a time using your processor to its maximum efficiency. Okay, I'm just gonna pause the video right now and then I'll tell you how long it takes for this whole set. Okay, that's done. That took less than a minute and a half to convert all 62 files at the high quality level. So it's a very fast program. You can do the same thing for converting a video as well. Let's take a fast look at that. I'll just bring in a sample video in here. And here's one of my own videos. This is an MP4. Bring this in. Notice so you can convert from a video over to an audio if you want to. So you can extract the audio from a video. That's one of the options. Let's come down here and I'll choose a video output. Let's say I wanted to bring this one down a little bit. This is at a 1080p right now. Let's say I wanted to bring this down to a 720p if I had a reason to do that. Go ahead, we'll set that up as a 720. This video is five and a half minutes long. I'll leave everything else at their defaults. Some of our options here, we have the MOV, MKV, AVI, WMV, and so forth. Lots and lots of different video formats that you can save this out to. And again, we can go from video to audio as well. We have that choice. Let's look at some additional options for this. Over here, right-hand side, click on that button right there. Here's the additional options. Let's go ahead and do the highest quality for this. I'll leave the frame rate and the encoder at their defaults. 
I'll leave all this at the default settings. But you can change these as you can see if you want to. We can choose different encoders, different sample rates, channels bit rate. Again, I'll leave all this at the defaults. Let's choose create. And also right here, you can play your video. So you double check, make sure it's the right one before you come in here and then convert that. So you can double check your video. It just brings up your default video player for that. Let's click on convert and see how this does. Okay, so it's now converting. Again, this is a five and a half minute long video. It's already done almost 20% of that right now. There's 20%. That took just seconds, just 14 seconds to get to 20%. So as you can see here, very fast video converter and the quality is top notch. I'll just let this thing run through. We only have maybe another 20 or 30 seconds until this thing is actually finished. It's that fast on these conversions. And just like we did with the audio, I could convert a whole folder full of videos if I wanted to into a big batch conversion that way, saving you lots of production time. Okay, almost finished. There it is. And that's it. That's done. That's how fast that goes. Let's take a quick look at that. Make sure it looks good. Click on open. There's that video file right here. I'll double click on this. And there it is. And the quality looks just phenomenal. And there are a few more settings up here. Click on this hamburger icon right there. You can change your language to English or Japanese. The online manual is right here. To view the manual, you will have to have a currently active internet connection. You can find out more about this here. There are some settings. Click on settings. We can choose the maximum number of convert tasks. I have mine running at the default of two, but you can go as high as five if your computer can handle that. You can choose what to do when your conversion is finished. Do nothing, shut down, sleep, or exit the program. You also can set your default folders down over here or reset to the default settings right there. So very easy to set up as you can see and runs very fast and does just a phenomenal job. Let's go back here to our main window. So if you like editing videos, ripping audio, or even downloading content, the Mini Tool Video Converter is a fantastic all-in-one tool. My personal favorite tool for doing video conversions. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.